just off staying where we are for now. Try not to move. You already make it worse. Oi! Uh, you handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were, too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on, then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw them cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no-good bastards a hiding from me. Feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. down without a fight. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why's that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, my God. 
You're safe now. White heart, I presume. <laughs> Do you know her, boy? A flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would! <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely <laughs> sum. You born a lord or something? Well... I, um... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, white heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you.
Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia. Where's Gav? Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as my old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Should be back by now. Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. As 
a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? What are we waiting for, indeed? I think it's alright to touch him. See, I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel.
Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Cool she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Loved plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Others weren't so lucky, though. A gift from the backyard, for your service. Please take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. <laughs> Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh. And, uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. What's the matter, Nectar? The hunt board? It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Alastia are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. I don't think so.
And you say Sid built this place? Did you come through the falls today? Curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her a after all these years. I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I... oh, I didn't do anything really, but... Thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way... Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Face it together then. To the end. Come on. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Yeah! Oh, 
Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befalls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> Would we a uh, pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful? Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the Millers? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Don't they, Chest? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sacrifice. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a Black Shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? But what do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a Black Shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Let's go. Faster! This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Ever since the Apollo Tree, we've seen more and more of these echoes. 
What do you think is waking them? The Mother Crystal's collapse? I have an idea. You're not going to like it. More of my mother's men. Ready, go. Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true sweet Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> they await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. something, boy.
This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. I will learn what madness drives her, and I will end it. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. They're approaching Newit Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosaleth. Run like the wind! I can walk from here. Didn't happen to come by way of Old Hill, did you? Saw some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. The next morn, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. The Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built, so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. The entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. This 
This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. We can speak inside. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far and we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, We've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields have broken camp. 
They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. <laughs> <laughs>